spending the evening with us. I'd like to say thank you to our bartenders and a special thank you to Doug and his group from the Whistle Stop for the day they put on. Give my hand to the round of applause. We're going to move right into the, uh, the lighting of the candles in memory of. Okay, we're going to go to the Chiefs report. Brian Scott is going to get that for last year. All right. <laughs> Promise Brian I'd read this since he uh, takes the time to do it. There we go. Total calls last year, we were off actually. We had 155. I think uh, we have it on paper that we have to help out East Humber the most. <laughs> Proof here in black and white. Wait for Greg to say that. <laughs> Point out, he's a member. I can't. <laughs> Keep it up, Lane. <laughs> there wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that was Lane. Oh, that was Lane, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll go into most calls. Most calls. Out of the 155, somebody actually uh, had the most calls, and that guy sitting right over there. Ted Fault had 90. decided to go take uh, Ivo, so we had four, three of the girls and Jaden all became uh, 
SCBA certified, finished their interior. And then because they were bored, they went to Erie County and became EMTs, uh, Jamie, or, uh, Jayden and Casey. So Jayden Eck had 292 hours oh. of training. Come on up. By just a little bit, my niece, Lucy Belsky, 304 hours. seeks out a dedicated individual who sometimes works behind the scenes, the person chosen this year exemplifies these qualities. Going back over the years, 
This individual assisted with memorial benefits for the past members, Reverend Charlie Alexander and Allison Krasanek, the daughter of a past member. This person has taken a lead role in every fundraising event that this fire company runs. This includes the annual fun drive, sportsman raffle, chicken barbecues, and other events. She may not always be in the forefront, but is definitely helping in the back rooms. Three years ago, she organized the first annual Corfu Fireman's Family Picnic, which we hold in Darien, which she has now run for three years and has expanded this event to multiple neighboring fire companies. Organizing this event included park reservations set up for catering, invitations to other fire departments, stuff of that nature. This successful family event is going to continue annually thanks to her efforts. This year's much deserved service person of the year goes to Lori Stiles. Chief, and he's moving on to GM6. He's the newest deputy fire coordinator for Genesee County. So, congratulations. Really awesome. 
I'll tell you, we're very blessed here in Corfu with our, our junior program we have. And all these guys are very active. Three of them were down here last night, so if you want to go look at the trucks, you can see your faces in the trucks. They were down here spit-shining up trucks last night. So, <laughs> so it's, uh, we're very proud of our junior. All right, let's go to firefighter of the year. I don't know what I can say about this guy. He's always here. For 65 years he's been here. This guy is, when I come down, when I came down here tonight, he's out front shoveling the sidewalk off. Every time I come down here, he's here doing something in this fire department. He's still an active member. He's been 65 years of active service, which is just, it blows my mind. Uh, he's longer than, older than I am, he's been a certain active firefighter. Most calls. <laughs> most calls, I think for how many years in a row? Ed, most uh, calls. I didn't get away. No, some people should a little bit. But he's, he's always got most calls, and he's very dependable, so our firefighter of the year this year is gonna be Ed Fouth, and I don't think there's anybody that deserves it more than him. downstate she had back operation and they told her to walk and she didn't walk and she regrets it now thank you i just want to know which one of you juniors are going to really do that I want to see which one of you guys is going to go. So while well, it's only going to be you guys, because you're going to start at a young age, I want to see which one of you is going to be that someday. That's huge. That's a huge goal, but also. That's a huge goal. Huge. 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 And, all right, I think with the installation of officers. Yep. Tim Yeager. You're off. We're going to have everybody come up at once, I believe. Tim, if that's, is that fine? Not with you? everybody, just just the officers? How about the executive? If everybody comes up, it makes sense. No well, you know what I'm saying. You want all the executive officers and any other officers to come up before I hand you the mic? Yeah, I think we're done. Well, I'm going to name them anyway. All right. Everybody, when he tells you and says your name, come on up. Start trying to line up back here. We'll line up right here. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you for having us. Appreciate it. Uh, congratulations to your award winners. Uh, for 2020, President uh, Steve Rowland, Vice President Tyler Lang, Secretary Paula Trapini, Treasurer Jen Eck, Trustees Ed Felt, Matt Nutter, Justin Rowland, you can come up as a couple. And uh, Sergeant at Arms, Alan Starkweather, and Shannon Brad Lang, Paramedic Officers Chief Craig Lang, Deputy Chief Jim Eck, Second Assistant Chief Mitch Bates, Senior Captain Brian Schuyler, Captain Ben Trapini, Dan Smith, Captain Laura Lang. And our police captain, Rob McNally, and Lieutenant Fire Police, Matt Leonard, and Lieutenant Slendak, Justin Rowland, Jim Hale, and Sid Joseph Brian Stark. It's always fun to get Bruce to take fire police so you can get do it. If you would please uh, raise your right hand. Me, I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear to uphold the, 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 the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of New York. The Constitution of the State of New York. And the bylaws of the Smart Department. Bylaws of the Smart Department. And that I will faithfully discharge. Faithfully discharge. The duties of the office to which I have been elected. The duties of the office to which I have been elected. To the best of my ability. 
As a installing officer, I now declare the officers the or the uh, core of you. I'm sorry, I almost said he's my friend. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> truck and by the way we're getting a new uh, our refurbished truck that the groups have headed up and it's it's a tremendous uh, task that they take and I, I just would like to say thank you guys for all that you're doing and Dave Shelley also I'm going to thank Dave as our attorney for taking care of us as he does so. Hopefully I can make it through without crinkling it up. When God made a fireman, here are some reasons why God made a fireman. God made a fireman because he needed someone to protect his creations and save his children from, children from disasters. When God made a fireman, he made someone who would leave their family, put their life on the line to save someone they never met. When God made a fireman, he, he made someone 
who would put all their fear aside, put out fire and flames in a neighbor's house in order to protect what that person has worked their entire life for. When God made a fireman, he made someone strong enough to remove a husband and wife from a tangled metal, from tangled metal and steel and motor vehicle accident, but also soft enough to pick up and comfort that scared crying child that was unharmed during the accident and tell them everything is going to be okay. When God made a fireman, he made someone tough enough to tell a woman that the man she has been married to for 50 years is dead without showing any emotion after performing CPR on him for what seemed like an eternity. But when everything is over and they are all alone, will cry their eyes out because they feel like they could have done more to save that man. When God made a fireman, he made someone who will wake up in the middle of a freezing cold night to go sit on a two and a half inch hose, spray water on a farmer's barn that is engulfed in flames in order to save what is left of that farmer's equipment and livestock. All will never complain about being wet and cold. When God made a fireman, he made someone who no matter how busy, how sick, or how tired, will put their priorities aside to answer their pager whenever it may sound. When God made a fireman, he made someone who will drive truck, pull hose, use many tools, move heavy loads, withstand extreme heat, meet the devil face to face, and not be frightened, and do this safely so they may return home to their families that would be lost without them. And last but not least, when God made a fireman, he made someone who would guide and direct, protect and serve, save lives and property, conquer and overcome, fear and yet be fearless, never accept failure, sacrifice life and life, pray and love. Someone that when the fire is out, the rocks are cleared, returns home and surrounds him or herself with family and, and smiles a big smile and fights back a tear when they hear their son or daughter say, I want to be just like you, mom or daddy. Um, and, and that when I listened to the first video, that really resonated with me. And uh, I, I hope that uh, you guys follow something there and that this next year in Corfu Fire Department, our GMs, our fire police, our judges, there's tons of people in this room that keep this community going. I, I pray I pray for you all the time. I pray that you can keep it going this next year and it'll be a great year. I don't think things are gonna get easier. I think this fire department's very blessed with having such a young group. I pray that they make it that 65 years. I pray that I would show up more. I got two young ones I don't think around half as much as what I should. I should follow that more. Um, I'm just gonna close with a word of prayer. Lord, once again, I thank you for all these men and women that spend their time serving our community. I pray that you would just look over them, uh, protect them, and just keep all that equipment. And I, and I say this because of Reverend Charlie, he instilled this in me. Just keep the equipment in uh, work in order and that we would continue to train like we should and focus like we should. Um, that we would be able to go home to our family safely and do the best we can to serve our community. Uh, Lord Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, Brad. Uh, thank you all for uh, Reserves are out. Anybody that's got a Lang shirt on can go up first. Anybody with a Lang shirt, they can always go first. So um, then after that, everybody just follow them to the desserts. All right. Thanks for coming. Remember, Lang, the president. That's right. Thanks for coming, folks. Enjoy the rest of your day.